Hi, today I'm going to show Windows users a quick tip on how to install a new internal hard drive. Once the hard drive is actually put into the tower and plugged in to all the necessary components, what we're going to do is go to Computer, right click on it, choose Manage. This will open up the Computer Management Console. Under Storage, there's Disk Management. Go ahead and click on that. Once in disk management, you'll be able to see the uh, active hard drive that you are currently on, which is C. And down here will actually be the area which we'll be working in. Uh, disk 0 is your C drive, and disk number 1 is going to be the new drive. Uh, it should be noted that if you have multiple hard drives, it might be uh, disk number 2 or etc. etc. Um, so go ahead and click on this black area, right click, choose new simple volume. This will take us to the simple volume wizard. Uh, right here, you actually can specify the volume size. You can actually uh, designate certain space for uh, certain partitions if you want to divide up the hard drive. Uh, for this example, I'm not going to do that, but you are given the option to split up the hard drive and make multiple partitions with a single drive. So once you do that, click Next. Uh, you can actually assign the drive letter uh, right here and then next and this is going to be where we format uh, by default in uh, all new Windows systems read uh, the NTFS file system um, so best to choose that one you are also given uh, EXFAT uh, FAT was an old uh, file system that Windows used to use it's not really relevant anymore all the newer systems read NTFS. Alright, and right here we can actually add a uh, label to the drive in case you want to customize it. And for this example we're going to do a quick format. If uh, this is a drive that's been already used, I recommend doing a full format, but since it's a brand new drive, a quick format will do. So go ahead and click Next. Go ahead and verify all your settings. Click Finish. And Windows will now format it and it only takes a couple seconds before it discovers it. And as you can see, we have a new volume up. And of course, the drive's empty, but uh, also should be noted that um, this is a 160 gig hard drive. Uh, as you can see, it's only showing 149.05. This is because uh, by default, Windows needs to uh, put a file system on there and uh, some of that space is reserved for uh, system files. So if you have a 160 gig hard drive and you only see 150, it's quite all right. You didn't get ripped off or anything. It's When uh, selling hard drives, they only put the uh, unpartitioned size on there, so it's not a big deal. It's a common mistake. All right, and that's all there is to installing a new hard drive on Windows 7. Thank you for watching.